Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season four, episode seven of Cora Reunion. Reunion. Who is she being reunited <laughs> yeah, with? They're it, going back to Republic City. If you've liked the Cora series so far and want to continue with us through the end of book four, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, head to the community tab to vote on which show you want to see next. We're looking at five different TV shows right now. Also, check out the Patreon linked in the description below to see episodes early and ask us the questions we answer after every episode. All right, I'm super excited for this episode. How are you feeling? I think it's going to be great. I can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Listen up, Dunderheads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. All right. So, Cor Pabu. Pabu's back. Yeah, where's Pabu been? I want to know what he's been up to. Oh, hanging with Naga. Faves. Yes. Naga! Oh, yay! Oh. My entire heart. Yes, you know Naga's Stop. so excited. And that's just like, even when you're literally at your absolute worst, being reunited with a pet who's excited oh, to see come you. On. That's what you need. I miss you so much, girl. Mom, Dad, we're back, and we got Cora. Well, Yay! Boomy, Boomy's back. Sure Trim down, back. Boomy. We just stick to see you again, Boomy, and you too, Boomju. Incredible. Aww. Well done, kids. I'm proud of you all for finding Cora. Proud enough to get me my tats? No. <laughs> He wants him so bad. Yeah, no way. I love that his older sister doesn't even have him, but he still wants him. Yeah. Oh boy. It wasn't great. You can't get no. Yeah. The whole army was there. She captured mom, dad, and my brothers. I thought I was strong enough to stop her. I feel like such a failure. No one expected you to handle Kavira on your own. It's up to all of us to find a way to deal with her. We're just glad to have you back. Where's okay. Ben? He's not still on Kuvira's side, is he? Hopefully he not. He yeah. I wonder what they Yeah, think. but they don't even know. Don't know so yeah. they probably think he's still on board, which Yikes. is really sad. <sighs> oh, are we going to get like a buddy cop moment here? You know, when I Republic City with Julie, she carried me 20 miles in one day. And that was after she sprained her ankle. Wow. Well, Julie's not here, okay? That's fine. Oh. Leave me here. Let the worms gobble me up. I deserve it. No way, mister. You're not getting off that easily. You're responsible for that weapon Kuvira's trying to make, which, may I remind you, could hurt a lot of people. No, His hair is like your hair in the morning. I'm a horrible, horrible person. Okay, look, Going through a little identity Kuvira crisis both here. Into doing her yeah. dirty work, and I'm not happy about it's it funny. I'm like completely you unfazed by it because this is just like twice a day. Yep. <laughs> and warning everyone what she's up to. So... I want you to take my hand. Oh yeah. And it's you. Me <laughs> out of this forest. Bolin really with the inspiration. Words, no wonder I made you a mover star. All right, I'll take the driver's seat for a while. Hop on. Oh, great. My feet No way you can pick him up. Okay. No. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. Are you kidding? <laughs> One step in. I Nightmare situation. Asami. Oh, <gasps> years. It's so good to see oh. you. Oh. You too. And I'm loving the hair. Thanks. You're looking snazzy <laughs> as always. Come on. Mako had us to stop it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, gotta um, really, gotta really quickly, gotta blush, really quick. I got it. Mm -hmm, blush? Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. was not even what I was gonna talk about what? though, because there's something very important. What? I saw a TikTok and it resonated with me. If you're a girl and you're struggling with how to hit on a girl without it just coming across as like a regular compliment, you deepen your voice when you give them. Oh a my gosh. And that was literally let's, let's, let's watch that replay. scene. And it's when she goes like I'm loving because as a friend and in season one two, it would have been oh my god Cora I love your hair love your and hair now cut. it's I'm loving the hair and she says thanks thank exact exactly what? it's so good to see you again so that's cute friendly yeah. 
and I'm loving the hair. Thanks. Oh. You're looking snazzy. <sighs> Come on. Mako got Did she say snazzy as always? Yeah. Yeah. Cora. Oh my. That's something you say when you're uncomfy because they're yep. all cute. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> this is just Later too to polar. Literally. Boss. <laughs> I bet he's told you a lot about me. Nope. Not a thing. It's like I've literally I mean, never heard so of you. So much to talk about. Oh my god. <laughs> what a duo. Yep. Let's start with a round of your spicy octopus fritters and keep the cucumber aloe water flowing. Got to keep this princely skin hydrated. I thought it was just going to be the three of us. Sorry. I couldn't ditch him. But he promised to be on his best behavior. Oh no. Hey, pop into the avatar state for me. I want to see your eyes glow. Uh, no. <laughs> so can you go into the avatar state again? I was worried when you told me you couldn't. Well, wait. When did she tell you she couldn't? Oh. Oh, in the letters that she only responded to some of them. I wrote to Asami while I was away. I asked her not to tell you. I'm sorry. Why didn't you ever write to me? Or bowl in? I don't know. I guess I didn't know what to say. Hmm. Hello would have been nice. Mako, if it makes you feel any better, she didn't write me either. Of course. Why would she? This dude. She's so self-centered. Stay in touch, but I'm back now, and I want to know everything about what's been going on with you two. Well, I kind of have some big news. I went to visit my father for the first time. Oh boy! Wow. How's He's this gonna go over? Letters, and I guess I finally felt ready to try and forgive him. You sure you can trust him? He might just be manipulating you again. You think I don't know what my own father is capable of? No. Whoa. I didn't mean you don't get to disappear for three years and then act like you know what's best for me. It's not like I planned to be gone that long. Whoa. I wanted to come oh, back, wow. but I never felt ready until now. As much as I'm enjoying this little catch up, my royal bladder Ooh. is about to explode. Mako? Come on. So there's a lot of resentment here. Every time you have to empty your royal bladder. Go to the bathroom on your own for once. Oh no, he's gonna get kidnapped. <laughs> you know he's just gonna get kidnapped. Do you always go to the bathroom with him? I don't go with him with him. I just <laughs> stand there in the general vicinity while he... I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, I hate it here. Good afternoon, sir. Perhaps a spritz of cologne to freshen up? Make it a double, buddy. Oh no. <laughs> Who down? Oh no. Oh no. It had to be the one time. It had to be. Of course. I wish Pabu were here. He could just chew us out of this. You know who else has incisors sharp as a knife? Julie. Julie. Well, yeah, you should have appreciated her. I wonder if they were tracking us after we escaped. Hello, fellow travelers! They escaped! I suppose you could help us out of this net. Why would we free a couple of lowly Earth Empire soldiers? Lowly? We were part of Kuvira's inner circle. We're not, not anymore. We jump ship. Please just let us out. I think I know just what to do with a couple of Kuvira's top men. That's Steve Blum. Ah! Oh my god. I don't know who that is. He's like a famous voice. He voiced a mom. I wonder what's oh. taking Wu so long. He's not one to miss out on lunch. I'll go check on him. Oh no. Woo! You in here? Come on, your octopus fritters are getting cold. Bad vibes. Mm -hmm. Cora's like, I sense danger. Excuse me, did you happen to see if Prince Wu came out this way? Sorry, miss. I haven't seen him. Mm, I'm in laundry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm in laundry. Go, Get the car. I'm going oh, a Sami driving scene? We need it. Thank you. We need it. Just as a little treat. Oh my god. Give me an Asami driving scene. Oh, this is like the first episode that they. Oh, the cars have adapted. Oh yeah. Thank you. Notice anything about these cars? Are they CGI? Yes. I see it now. Is it wow, a, how did I not see it? It's pretty obvious. I was really confused, but you know what? Hey, you learn it. You had a big setback. Oh, that's so yes. badass. 
no way she goes off the edge. You know, Korra needs oh my this. God. Korra needs a win, you know? Well, okay, yes, but only if this goes well for her. If That's it doesn't saying, go yeah. well, it would be really bad. Definitely. But this is like the level where I think she could take it. Hmm. She learned to drive from Asami. That's so cool. Who's not here? This guy was the only one in the truck. Did she already check the laundry the though? Pathway to Kuvira by now. Oh, it's Kuvira. Why does Oh, I hate that face. Gross face. What what does Kuvira mm, What are they doing? What does Kuvira want with Wu? Oh boy. Take this guy in for booking. Charge him with kidnapping and tell Chief Beifong that Prince Wu is missing. Put out an All right, we got more Beifong coming up. Good. Where do we start? There are thousands of cars in the city and he could be in any one of them. That's true. Or try smuggling him out on an airship. Or maybe a boat. He could be anywhere. Ah, the one time I don't watch him pee and this is what happens. The spirit. Hi, friends. Look at Cora, the spiritual queen. Amazing. She can feel in the vines. <gasps> can she do that everywhere? Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> That's fantastic. Oh my god. They're taking Boo to the train station. Are you sure? Cora. Cora. <laughs> I'll explain on the way. The trees told me. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I feel like that's me explaining house plant so, stuff to you. Yep. Like, how do they know they need water? And fire vendors <laughs> end up in one of Kuvira's re-education camps. Call it what it is, a prison. Kuvira's been purging states of anyone who's not of Earth Kingdom origin and locking them up. Purging. Oh boy. What Interesting. It's an Earth Kingdom for? specific you must have thing. Known what she was up to, being part of her inner circle and all. No, I swear. And, and the inner circle thing lasted like less than a day. Will you it's like, guys, I swear, I'm just really yeah. dumb. Border checkpoint. You're gonna help us talk our way past some Earth Empire soldiers. And once we're through, we'll see about letting you go. <laughs> Little do they know they have a magma bender yeah. on their hands. Yeah. Yikes. Look at him go. Hell yeah. I'm sorry for what happened, all <laughs> but as I've been trying to He's explain, the hair? we don't work for Kuvira anymore. Yeah, if our handsome mugs get recognized trying to go through that checkpoint, we're goners. If you really are fugitives, you better listen up. We've been scouting this region for days. There's a wall stretching along the entire border and patrols guarding every part of it. That checkpoint is our only way out. It's not worth the risk, Baraz. How do we know they won't turn us in? If he wanted us gone, we'd be at the bottom of a pool of lava right now. Yep. If any of us want to get out of the Earth Empire alive, we'll have to trust each other. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's All right. cool. Where's this checkpoint? So, how do you know where Wu is just by touching some spirit vines? I learned how to talk to people's energy through them. Who taught you that? Lin's mom. I found her in the <laughs> Lynn's like mom. I love that. You met Toph? What was she like? A cranky, more miserable version of Lynn? Is that even possible? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's true. She kind of is. Literally. She got to get it. From oh, and Asami. Wait, wait, wait. With the glove. Hold on. Did you see the glove? That was a remade glove. That I think she made glove, her own model. More updated. And look at that. Badass. Oh, it's matching her color scheme now. Come on. I love oh, and I bet they have an and navy I bet it blue. shoots like You know, those are my riding colors. Yeah. Did cool you know that? Yeah. I don't know. I know this band. All right. They got to get past the checkpoint. Good afternoon, sir. Can we help you? We sure can. We can't <laughs> escape prisoners. He said fake actor. Where they escaped from? Camp 14. Why are you bringing them through here? Camp 14's back the other way. You think we don't know where Camp 14 is? Kuvira wants them transferred. Then I'll need to see the transfer order. Listen, pal, I had to fight off two badger moles, six wolf bats, and 18 hog monkeys to get these guys. So sorry if I don't have the paperwork. I was too busy cramming it in a hog monkey's mouth while it was trying to eat me. I am in sore need of a shower, and I have blisters that are the size Very. of cow and twice as juicy. So you can let us through, or you can give me your name and rank, and I'll pass it on to Kuvira. You know what happens to soldiers who question her orders, don't you? Bad stuff! 
Yikes. <laughs> he said, follow your lead. All right. I will go beyond He said, your yes, lead. and. <laughs> he said, yes, and <laughs> then some. Incredible. That was my joke. I know. You just took it and made it worse. <laughs> They're like, no. Oh. Stop them. They're traitors to the Empire. Shit. Well. Wow. All right. Those robots Didn't are pretty get agile, too. Far. too. No way I'm going back to prison. Why do they even bother putting ropes on them? Oh, that was to give the impression that they were... That Bolin and Varric were taking them as prisoners. No, but I just mean in general, like... They probably would have different ones for a firebender. Oh. I think they were probably all assuming that they were earthbenders. You, you know, know what? That makes sense. <laughs> we haven't seen much water bending this season. Robot can't walk on the ice. Oh boy. Come on, baby. Yes, there we go. Has that CGI? Better than, um, the magma? Yes. No. Well, it's a mixture. It, it's a different texture. I don't know. It's not in the traditional sense, though. Okay. I think the ro the robots are, or maybe you're right. It's it's a different texture. You might be right. Oh yeah. What is he doing? Oh yeah, little Tony Stark. I love this moment. Because he knows how the robots work. Mm -hmm. What if he can just make it do something really stupid? Like yeah. he can program it to just like do the chicken dance. That would be incredible. <laughs> that one got bodied. Yeah. Oh. Very cool. Oh boy. Or is he gonna trip them? I think he's gonna create an electrical current through them. Very cool. Oh no. That's a battery. Boy, I sure hope this works. <laughs> oh boy. Or it's magnetism. Oh. Oh, an EMP. It's an EMP. <laughs> I still got that Varric touch. Interesting. Oh, Very ouch. smart. Wow. Get varric We're clear. Come on. And it, I'm sure Bolin is just like, what the fuck was he's that? He's like, uh, so that man is a, real is a genius. Oh, he's not gonna leave him. Bolin said no. I fight for real for you. Okay, but this is good because this is gonna earn his trust. Yeah. Their trust. He's gonna earn their trust. And he's gonna melt this and Thanks. You didn't have to come back. Yeah, I kinda did. Let's go. Okay, now nice. they have a group. Nice. That's good. Oh. A lot of characters are getting great moments in this. Yeah. If we don't find Wu soon, we might never find him. She can do it. She just do it through the ground. Hold on. What about the trees, though? Ah. Wow. That was lucky. Yeah. How do you know for sure he's here? I don't, but I had a feeling, okay? And I'm just supposed to trust your avatar feelings? All right, what else were you supposed yeah, to do? Yeah, like, what are the other options? Like you were supposed to. All we had to do was follow the damn train. Yeah, go watch him pee, stupid. Oh, so it's my fault Wu disappeared. It's certainly not mine. Guys, there's a crate Listen. moving. Oh, but I bet they're all gonna get trapped in this thing because those people overheard them. <laughs> no! <laughs> Such a conundrum. Mako? Where am I? Am I dead? No, you're on a train. We're gonna get you out of here. Oh. They're here, not. Okay. She's the throwing knives really bother me. A small tunnel with an airbender? Like, not that's a good really tunnel. upsetting. Um, I'm not going up there. Yes, you are. Oh, I want to see Wu have to deal with their adventures. <laughs> yes. Wu's probably like, what? Literally. This is just every day for them. Just tossing him. Oh, and they have their own version of that. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Queen. Ooh, ooh the glove's got a kick. Right, 
before I bend it back. Oh. Yeah. I mean, wow. Like, wow, what a move. Work smarter, not harder, Dang. right? Like, if you're trying to get distance you're between right. you True. and them. You are definitely getting a raise, buddy. You should be thanking Cora. <laughs> we never would have found you without her. I owe you my life, Avatar. If only there were some way to repay you. Oh, I know. How about I take you out for a night on the town? Really? You're asking me out right now? So, I'll put you down for a maybe? How about a never? Yikes. Ooh. Not exactly what I imagined for our first day back together. <laughs> but it was kind of like old times. Mm. Except for the getting on each other's nerves part. Actually, that is like old times <laughs> Yeah, what old times are you talking about? Yeah. Although Cora and Asami haven't really been... Mm, I guess that's not true. Yeah. Three years, there's bound to be a bit of an adjustment period. True. Yeah. Yeah. But it's great. But they're all good. There's no place else I'd rather be. Oh, yay. yay. No. <laughs> you guys are the greatest friends a guy could have. Oh. So, what are we going to do with him? It's too dangerous to take him back to the hotel. Oof, you're telling me. I need a cushy safe house somewhere. I think I know just the place. Where? Nice digs, Mako. You didn't tell me to keep your money. I don't. This is Asami's place. Oh. She was nice enough to let my family stay here after they fled Bossy Oh, Mako, wow. It's so wonderful to. <gasps> Are you Wait, and she's obsessed and with royalty. I'll literally be so excited. It's an honor, Grandma Mako. <sighs> oh, and that means the world to her. I'm obsessed with how this came together. And that was so well founded. Literally, they completely. I have been holding it all day. I love this show. I know it might not mean much coming from a guy wearing this uniform, but I'd like to apologize for what Kavir has put you through. I appreciate that. Guess this is where we part ways. It's been a blast. We're heading north too. Oh. Why don't you come with us? It's the least we can do after you say No, they're not going no. to. That hunk of junk. It's no, nice thanks. to offer. I'm yeah. To drowning. <gasps> I mean, uh, we'd love a lift. Oh, they're going. They are going. Yay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, to uh, 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 we are so extra. Oh, it's. This area yep. is overrun with spirit vines. And they appear to be even more powerful than the samples we took from Republic City. Perfect. God, why do the plants Harvest have to be a bad thing? Wait, where did they get these vines in general? Isn't this the, the tree, the main tree? Like, they're not in Republic City. The tree City, of though. light in the swamp. Oh. The swamp trees. No. The main, yeah, the tree of no. light. The, like, huge one. Where Korra sat and could feel everything. Okay, I'm sorry, but Toph's gotta feel that. Right? Toph's got to feel Toph's that, feel and that. it's going to go there and battle them. Oh my goodness. Also, there is something just like morally wrong with that. Yeah, doing the center tree. The main tree. Like, I can't. It's like one of those things like name something that isn't illegal but seems illegal. Yeah. That's the mother tree. You can't do that. You can't do that. Nope, not allowed. No. Not a fan whatsoever. In no. Fact. Scared by the fact that they're more powerful because we saw how much damage they could do with like the regular ones. But it's also interesting to note that that tree is a spirit tree. Because yes. like, it was an avatar and we didn't really... I mean, we knew it was spiritual, so it makes sense. It has the same properties as yeah. spirit vines, but... But having that confirmed is definitely interesting. Info, and you know. the idea that it's more powerful as it's closer to the center Agreed. is very cool. I wonder if there are going to be other properties that happen. Or if it's just a, like, more powerful thing. Thank you for watching that episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for our next episode coming out this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For now, where are we headed? All right, let's go to the episode verdict. All right, uh, that was a action-packed episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for core reaction content every Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
Also, check out the Patreon link in the description below to see episodes early and ask us the questions we're right about to answer. For now, let's get to question one. All right, Trinity asks, what are your thoughts on Prince Wu, his personality, his inclination to flirt, the fact that he doesn't really have any real friends and uses Mako's position as a bodyguard to fill that void? Well, okay, so my first thoughts on Prince Wu, I think the important thing that sticks out to me is his language. Like, he calls women dames, and he, like, constantly it seems to be absorbed in, like, what royalty is. Like, he's had this romanticized vision of being the king for this long time, and when it came down to it, he just didn't get it. I think that all of these things where he's, like, clinging to Mako, and, like, the fact that he doesn't have any real friends, all of this is going to kind of dawn on him that, oh, I can't just rely on my royalty to do everything for me. I think what we're going to see is a big heaping scoop of reality. I think he's about to just get hit with reality and understand that like he needs to exist outside his bubble and hopefully comes out a better person on the other side. He's a little he, self-centered. He seems sh exactly self-centered, not in a bad way, but just genuinely like every person is born into the world, a completely self-centered individual. You have to be, yeah. unless you're taught not to be, people are automatically solely focused on themselves. And that's like biologically yep. beneficial anyway. Like every person is programmed to function like yourself, that. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's how it works. But never being taught to consider alternatives yields a really one dimensional person. And that's kind of where he is right now. And I think that it's really interesting because the more he's exposed to stuff with Mako, the more he's kind of realizing that he really needs Mako, yeah. which is interesting. Yeah, I don't think he's a bad person. He's not a bad person at heart, mm -hmm. I don't think. He just hasn't been given any sort of input he's to tell him to be anything other than what he's being. Like blissfully unaware exactly. of every single thing you need to be aware of as a ruler or just a good person. G asks, after Asami accidentally reveals Korra was writing back to her in front of Mako, he grew concerned on why she wasn't writing either him or Bolin. Do you believe both sides of the spectrum are valid? Mako being upset because he wanted to hear from Korra to make sure she was doing well and Korra only writing Asami because she was more comfortable talking about things with her. Yeah, I mean, this is a fantastic question. I absolutely see both sides of this. I feel like every single question that like barely pertains to mental health, I'm just like, as a psych major and a as mentally a ill major. individual, <laughs> this is my take on it. But like, okay, if there is something that I'm experiencing anxiety about, there are a lot of things that go into consideration of whether or not I'm comfortable talking with someone about that. Like they're literally so many things I can't even list them. Additionally, as someone who has a lot of friends who struggle with mental illness, I completely understand being in a position where you want to be there for your friend and you're worried about them and then you just get nothing. And it, it can hurt your feelings. Yeah. And it can make you worry and feel like you did something wrong or that you're not enough. So I absolutely understand why Mako was like, well, hello, would it like, really, you couldn't have said anything? I understand how it seems like like that from his perspective because if you haven't struggled the way Cora is struggling it's genuinely not possible to comprehend the idea that like I cannot send you a text yeah. like I physically am incapable of doing it because it is too hard for my brain to process but I can send it to her because it's different in my head. Yeah. That is just not a comprehensible idea unless and you're mentally ill. I think it's like Mako can be hurt at first because like it's a raw sort of feeling. And maybe Cora should have been upfront with that a, a sort of communication. Be like, hey, I just don't have the capacity. But without instant messaging, it would require a letter to say, I can't write you letters, which mm -hmm. doesn't really work. Exactly. Um, I think my my end summary of this is they're both valid in their initial response. Cora was valid in her response, period. Yeah. Mako needs to reevaluate. He's allowed to be a little bit hurt and worried and concerned, but then he needs to go, okay, she went through something horrible. Yeah. This is not about me. I just need to be there for her. Mm -hmm. And that's, I agree. Yeah. Lorenzo Baxter asks, do you have any comments about the tension between Korra and Asami's relationship and how they interacted in the last three years? I think this is really interesting because it could either refer to their like romantic tension or like how they're like, cause like they were cute together, but they were both, you know, dating other people and, you know, hanging out as friends. And now, you know, the blush and the compliments and like, I don't know, just like the energy and the vibes, it definitely seems like a different kind of relationship. So that could be the tension. Mm -hmm. Additionally, they fought and we haven't yeah. seen them really fight. And well, highs and lows. Exactly. 
I feel like it was an interesting statement on how much things can feel like they have changed and also haven't changed in a friendship after a long time apart. Because immediately after really not talking, like only sending infrequent letters, Asami shares this really big news and Cora's immediate reaction is to like question whether or not she's yeah. like given it enough thought, which like maybe if you've been there every single day and have been like helping her make this yeah, decision. Yeah, it wasn't her place to say Not that. her place. She had no, like she didn't ask for input. So that was very clearly like Cora having a different internal perception of what was appropriate for their relationship. And then Asami immediately snapped at her because she felt like Cora crossed a line and she did. I don't know. But then they were good at the end of the episode. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Sometimes it's just like growing pains, right? You're different and then you come back together and you just need to work it out. And when it comes down to it, it wasn't really that big of a deal. Yeah, it was just a little issue that came up. And I think that they stated it well then when they were like, we haven't been together in three years. It's going to take a second exactly. to get back in it. So yeah, no, I totally Totally normal. That. I think that tension will end up being good though. They're feeling strong feelings about each yeah. other. And I think that once they figure out a groove, they're going to be in a good place. Yeah, I don't think that that fight or any of the it's negativity that we that saw, lasting. I don't think it's going to last. And I think I don't think it's going to be damaging. Yeah. All right, I think that's about it for this episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for core action content every Thursday and Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Our next episode will be this Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And check out the Patreon linked in the description below to see that episode early and ask us the questions we just answered. All right, are we excited for next episode? Very, I can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go.